chili, two gallons of chili. I mean, what do you do? You hold the bucket over your face and then you basically just pour and swallow? No, no, they actually make us use a spoon. Oh! Yeah, and so I, if you watch, my hands are moving fast. I hold the bowl close to my face and, and if, uh, it, it, you'll see I'm actually pushing pretty hard. But uh, it, it's the competition. It, it, it pushes you. It's like a, the people running a marathon. You wouldn't run 26 miles that fast if there weren't if there wasn't people pushing you. Uh, yeah, and, and I, I, I'm I'm not eating. The reason why I'm going to eat two gallons is there, there's going to be somebody probably right behind me and they're going to beat me if I if I don't continue pushing it. Well, speaking of running a marathon, you almost have to prepare for these contests like an ultra athlete, right? It's a, it's so weird to think of it uh, uh, like like a sport, but uh, the, the more I look at it like a sport, the better I get, the more competitive I am. I, uh, I, I'm, I go into the contest absolutely empty and I have a tolerance for digesting a ridiculous amount of food and, and, and I build a tolerance for each type of food. So I, like I said, I, I, I'm very familiar with the Ben's chili and my body knows what, how, to, how to ingest and digest uh, an, an insane amount. So it's, uh, it, it, and it goes with every food, whether it's hot dogs, I, I build a tolerance for it, and I, and I go on empty. Today I'm not eating any solid food. I make sure that I go in and just hungry, loose, empty, and uh, ready to just go to town. Did you have to teach yourself or acclimate yourself how not to hurl after it's a, eating all that food? You know, I, I naturally, I'm naturally a really big eater, but uh, it, it, the, I had to build build tolerance and make the muscles slowly. The muscles in, in my throat and esophagus they, they become stronger and stronger, and and, uh, and they're able to push faster than most people. And I, I can I can get the food in and down faster. The peristalsis muscles get the food to my stomach quicker than most people, and and I, I can I can just I, I can push it fast. How do you feel though after you've consumed all that? Oh my God! Well, just. It, it, the truth is, you don't feel great. It, 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 but it, 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 you know, like I said, a marathon runner is not going to feel great after a marathon. A boxer is not going to feel great. He, uh, somebody playing football is not going to feel great after a full game. So I, I have to go in knowing, all right, this is not dinner. I'm not feeling. I'm not going to feel great after this. I, I'm, this is competition, and the more more you're willing to push yourself to a, a crazy limit, the better you're going to be. Okay, hot dogs, they've become a controversial issue lately. Not at all, not for a real American. <laughs> <laughs> well, in case people don't know, the, the, the controversy is, are they a sandwich or not? Joey Chestnut. No, well, I think hot dogs really stand alone. Uh, I, I think it, if, you, if, you, if you call a hot dog a sandwich, then you, you're, you're going to have to call anything wrapped in a carbohydrate. A sandwich, then you're going to end up calling a burrito a sandwich mm -hmm. or, or, or anything in pita bread a sandwich. So... so I think that's good to have separation. Uh, I, 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 I do love a good sandwich, but a hot dog, it's, it's its own little entity. Well, President Obama has joined the chorus of people around the country, a lot of them from Chicago and New York, who say ketchup does not belong on a hot dog. Your verdict. Oh, well, I think if you're a child, it does. But, but, but for, for most adults, uh, a, a great deli mustard, some raw onions, uh, are 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 the are the essentials, and, and, and it, a hot dog is a great vessel. You, you can you can put some crazy items on there. I had an amazing kimchi hot dog. Uh, I had I, you, you can put bacon and cheese on there, but but I think the the, the traditional the, nat, the the way we're supposed we, we were meant to eat a hot dog is uh, with a little bit of mustard and raw onions. Gotta ask you, what is the hardest food for you to compete in? Oh my God! It, 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 a food, like I said, it, I, if if, I'm, if my body's not familiar with it, then it becomes really, really hard. Uh, I remember I did a crab cake eating contest, and I love crab cakes for dinner. But I, I wasn't I wasn't going to spend a thousand dollars of practice and build a tolerance <laughs> for crab cakes. And I, I remember after I got done with the contest, my my stomach and my body was so uh, I, it was so uncomfortable. It just didn't know how to digest the food. And even during the contest, it, I, I was, it was it was it was just not sure. And yeah, so anything I'm not really familiar with makes it makes the contest a lot harder. And then I, oh, I also did I also did a a brain taco eating contest, and and, and I, I really didn't like the the so if I don't like the flavor, it's also equally hard. What uh, kind of a taco eating? Cow brain taco. Wow. It's a it, it's a it's a Mex Mexican dish. It's served in Mexico, and that's the only reason why I did it. it, it they they it, it, they actually taste. I, it, it tasted funny, and it, it, but it, it, it's it's traditional, so I did, did it. Did you think better afterwards? <laughs> no, I, th I ended up thinking I might have mad cow disease, <laughs> but uh, it, it was it, it, yeah, it, it, it wasn't the tastiest, so that made it a lot harder. Well, Joey, good luck uh, tomorrow for the 
Ben's oh, Chili Bowl. Ben's Conscious. Chili Bowl at Taste of DC. I'll be, I'll be eating at 3 p.m. and it's gonna be it's gonna be a one heck of an event, rain or shine. All right. All right, Joey Joss Chestnut. He is the number one competitive eater in the U.S.